Okay, so a pleasant day to everyone. We are now on our fifth module for English for Academic and Professional Purposes. So for our fifth module, we have outlining reading text in various disciplines. By the way, um, credits to the development team of the module, our writer, Mr. Uh, Dr. Alvin Lim, and for the rest of the team. So this should have been discussed along with the identifying and formulating thesis statement but then again it will just be very short so for this topic you are expected to define outline and its uses classify outlines according to content and format explain the outlining process and identify the components of an effective outline and create an outline on a particular topic this of learning. So, for this part, um, what I know, you could just like check what we have. Let's discuss first. Then balikan natin later for points purposes because I know you want higher scores. But then again, life is not just about high grades and high scores. It's about your humanity, your integrity, etc. Okay, there. So, um, going back, lesson five is outlining reading text in various disciplines. Our word is outlining or outline. So, as early as elementary, we have already been also doing outlining as a guide for us to first understand an existing text or second, to write an essay, okay? So, writing any academic paper or essay would really mean effort. Okay? So, hindi naman siya basta-basta mo siya itatype, lilitaw na lang sa utak mo yung organized idea. So, personally, I use outlining for me to have a better flow of ideas. So, it's very helpful for me whenever I outline before I write because it keeps me on track. So, kasi, when, uh, I don't know with others, but most of the time when writers do not have their outlines, there is a possibility that the direction of the paper would go over uh, over, over else or everywhere. It could be scattered. But if you have your outline with you, you are reminded of your direction. So just like how a teacher has his or her own lesson plan as a direction, an architect having his blueprint or plan, um, and a fashion designer his or her own um, sketch pad and designs for his new fashion statement, the writer would also need an outline. So, after you have stated what you want to write, which is present in your thesis statement, you would have to do the first part. Okay? Or should I say the next part in the pre-writing process? And this is creating an outline before you write your first draft. So first, let's check what's in, okay? So, uh, let's have um, bonus items, sige? Okay, so, help you, may pa bonus tayo. Ayan, para hindi siguradong zero. So there, uh, let's identify the thesis statement. Put a check if it's a good one, X if it's not, okay? So, a thesis statement should not be too broad, okay? That's a check, okay? Next, a thesis statement should not be too wordy. It should be too wordy. So, syempre, ayaw naman natin ng masyadong madaming salita doon sa thesis statement in the end paragraph. So, number two is an X. Number three, a thesis statement should not be too general. Hindi daw masyadong general. Of course, that's a check, okay? Number four, a thesis statement should be a title, okay? So, that's an X because the title and the thesis statement are different, okay? And they have difference in form. And lastly, a thesis statement should not be a fact, okay? And that is a check mark because your thesis statement is your argument and it expresses your stand and your opinion about an issue, okay? So, for this one, according to Benjamin Franklin, if you fail to plan, you're, you're planning to fail. Just like what I tell you with um, 
with the writing uh with the writing process so if you don't have your outline or at least even a uh, um an informal outline with you you'll have more difficulty in writing or completing your essay faster okay unless you are a super genius so next um let's have the discussion so what's an outline ba so Technically, when we talk about outline, what comes into your mind is the listahan, parang sunod, sunod. It's a list, yes. So, technically, an outline looks like this. And I know you've seen one because we've been doing this mula nung ipanganak kayo, par. Hindi, mula ng gamitin niya, which is practically in um, elementary. So, it shows what information each section or paragraph to contain. So, iba-ibang uri ng outline. You have topic outline, you have your sentence outline, you have paragraph outline. So, most outlines use numbers and or bullets to arrange information based kung ano yung pinapagamit sa inyo ng teacher nyo. So, um, why is it very helpful to use an outline? First, okay, an outline will make your essay more organized. That's what I've mentioned earlier. So, kumbaga, hindi ka na magsasayang ng, ng papel, ng words, kasi nga, you know what to write already. Wala nang pagbuburang masyado ang magaganap. Okay? So, you already have your thesis statement, and then your outline will help you come up with the skeleton of your research. Number two is, it saves time for writers. So, even if preparing an outline will take your time, but once you're finished, writing the rough draft of your essay will be faster. Kasi I tried that as well. Kapag walang outline, parang medyo matagal eh. Pero kapag nagkakaroon ka ng outline, mas organized, alam mo yung direction mo, you know, oh, after exhausting one point, you can move on to the next. Okay? And you have, again, your roadmap with you. Pero kung isa kang um, mamaw sa pagsusulat at kahit walang uh, outline kaya mo, well, that means... Uh, you have practiced your writing skill. But definitely, it took time. You might also have started by coming up with an essay. Okay? So, next. Um, ayan. You have your title here. Um, baga, bahala kay Palitan nyo yan. Kung ano yung topic ang gusto nyo. Then, you have your introduction. Please include your thesis statement. Second pa body paragraph, what your topic sentence is. Then, your supporting ideas. And if you still have more details under uh, ca capital life A, 1, 2, 3, tas kung meron pang further, A, B, C na mali naman, so on and so forth. So if you can see, you have your intro, body, and conclusion. Okay. Okay, so for our activity, syempre, I would give you answers. Hey there. Para hindi kayo ma-zero. So for for that, let's identify using um, independent activity one, kung topic outline, sentence outline, or paragraph outline ang mga items na din describe. So kapag topic outline, this is usually just phrases. Uh, sentence outline naman kapag yon sentences, at saka mas madaming details. And then paragraph outline, literal na paragraph. So for number one, each item is a complete paragraph. So, what's the answer? Napaka, napaka given. It's, of course, PO or paragraph outline. Number two, each item is a phrase. Technically, it is PO or topic outline. Number three, it is specially well suited for complex subjects. Okay? Com com complex siya. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nyo ng more details. So, it's a sentence outline. Number four, it is used to produce a condensed version of the paper, okay? Pero nandun pa rin yung mga essential parts. So, you have a paragraph outline as well. Then, number five, yung six to ten, kaya nyo na yan, uh, Number five, it is useful for long papers whose individual sections can be summarized in full paragraphs. Nandun yung keyword natin, paragraphs. So, it's paragraph outline, okay? So, with all the things that you answered here, you compare and contrast na lang on this assessment part. Okay? Write your answers on your activity, uh, on your activity sheets, portfolios, or dun sa papel kung pinasan niyo yung portfolio niyo. Okay?
So, octmines can be classified according to format. So, may alphanumeric and decimal formats tayo. Okay? For the alpha, uh, alphanumeric, you start with the no Roman numeral, the capitalized letter, Arabic numeral, lowercase letter, Arabic numeral inside parenthesis, and then lowercase letter. Or, meron din naman tayong decimal outline na 1, tapos 1.1, 1.1.1, 1.1.1, 1.1.1.1, 1.1.1.1, etc. Okay? So, that makes alphanumeric outline and decimal outline the types of uh, outlines according to format. Pero, syempre, may iba't ibang formats din. Okay? So, ayan. This is your task. Come up with the topic uh, alphanumeric outline daw using the graphic organizer. So, technically, you're, you should not have problems anymore kasi ito na yung topic mo, itong common student problems. Tapos nakalitaw na yung hierarchy. So, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna start with the Roman numeral uh, 1, family problems, tapos isusunod mo na yung A, studial ng studial uh, topics, B, extended family, C, adolescent age, tapos number 2, economic problems, o ito yung mga nasa baba niya. So, uh, A, um, this is A, B, C, D, E. Tapos, ito, 1, 2. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3. Then, uh, for the last one, this is Roman numeral number 3. Ang binigay ko na sa isa. Kaya nyo na yan. Okay? So, for this, activity 3, arrange the following steps in an uh, in writing an outline. Sige. Bigyan ko a few minutes to try on your own muna. Para hindi naman spoon feeding, okay? Si ma'am, nag spoon feed na lang. Okay, we don't want that. Okay, so tingnan niyo yung pagkakasunod-sunod. Alin dyan yung tingin nyo is tama, okay? So A, audience, determine the audience you're writing for. B, brainstorm, that you list all the ideas that you want to include in your paper. C, label, you create main and subheadings. D, order, you arrange material in subsections from general to specific or from abstract to concrete. E. Organize group-related ideas together. F. Purpose. Determine the purpose of the paper. And G. Thesis statement. You develop, you develop the thesis of your paper. So, I'll help you out. Alin ba dapat una yung mauna dyan? So, kapag nag gumagawa ka ng outline, una F. F mo na. Kasi, bakit F? kailangan mo na malaman kung anong gusto mong mangyari sa paper mo. So, what's the purpose of your paper? Number two is the audience. Okay? Ano yung, ano yung level ng audience mo? Sino yung magbabasa niyan? Okay? Next is G. What's your thesis statement? Okay? Next is B. Brainstorm. You list all of the ideas. So, syempre, after mo nang na-list lahat ng ideas, you organize mo na siya, which is letter E. Okay? And then letter D, you order. You arrange the materials already. And lastly, number 7, syempre, ilalabel mo na lang. Sana all may label, no? <laughs> Move on, pero walang label. Ano yun? Okay. <laughs> Nasaktan ka, pero hindi kayo. No, no harm intended. Okay. Sorry lang. So, next, um, kaya nyo na to. Masyado na ako madaming pa plus points today. Yeah? Actually, ang dali lang, diba? So, think of a person who serves as your idol. So, gumawa ka ng sarili mong outline. So, sino para sa'yo yung ina-idolize mo that you look up to. So, you come up with your thesis statement. Tapos, ano yung mga main points mo, sub-points, etc. Pwede pang humaba yan, pwede dumami, depende sa details na nilalagay mo. Okay? Are we clear with that? Okay? Uh, ito, meron pa tayong pa-exercise o oh. Kayang-kaya na yan. So, it's really just that short for um, creating a, uh, an outline. Okay? So, if you have questions, feel free to uh, ask questions on the comment section. And then, kung may mga insights, okay, etc. You may also share. Then, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? So, I hope you've learned something today. And this is EAPP with your... Cheers, Cindy. Bye.